With a major overhaul of the nation's flood insurance program just months away, new data released Monday by the First Street Foundation suggests hundreds of thousands of homeowners in the riskiest locations across America could face massive rate hikes starting in October. The Brooklyn, New York-based research group estimates the average rate needs to more than quadruple on the nation's most flood-prone homes under the ongoing effort to make the federal flood insurance program solvent and ensure homeowners most at risk are paying their fair share. First Street data projects that the majority of homeowners won't see big rate changes, and others could see premiums decrease. But for some 265,000 properties, annual premiums would need to climb $10,000 or more to match the actual risk. Those with more expensive properties are estimated to see the biggest premium increases. Any actual rate hikes adopted by the federal government would be slowly phased in for existing policyholders. First Street's calculations, which the group says are based on similar methodology to what the National Flood Insurance Program will use when it rolls out its new rating system on October 1, reveal a major shift is needed in pricing policies. Such changes could level the playing field overall but depress home values in some areas. Some of the biggest gaps in current premiums versus actual risk appear in the southeast and mid-Atlantic regions in places such as Florida, South Carolina and New Jersey. Chasms also exist in pockets of California, Texas and Washington. In the historic waterfront city of Charleston, South Carolina, for example, nearly 4 in 10 flood-prone homes would need to pay an average premium of $18,211 to cover the anticipated costs of flooding compared to the current average NFIP rate of $2,264, First Street data shows. And almost every homeowner on the barrier island city of South Patrick Shores, Florida, would need to pay an average of $24,724 a year to adequately cover their risk. The average rate there now is $491, First Street data shows. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, which operates the National Flood Insurance Program, has not publicly shared how its new risk rating 2.0 overhaul will impact individual premiums. So it's unknown how close First Street's calculations will come to the real thing. But FEMA said First Street's estimates are just that, estimates. Any entity claiming that they can provide insight or comparison to the risk rating 2.0 initiative, including premium amounts, is misinformed and setting public expectations that are not based in fact, said David Morstad, senior executive for the National Flood Insurance Program. While entities are free to suggest or estimate their opinion of what flood insurance premiums should be, they are offering exactly that, an opinion, and they do not have insight into the risk rating 2.0 initiative.